Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a first impression and wear test of the new LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. That's a really long name. This is what the bottle looks like. So it's just a plastic bottle, nothing too fancy. And then it also does come with a pump, so that's awesome. This does retail for $6, so it's very cheap. <laughs> I did get this off of their website, so the LA Colors website. And I got the shade, I forgot, Natural. So this is the one that hopefully matches me the best. On their website, it says it's a long-wearing high pigment formula. It applies as a liquid and then it blends into a beautiful matte powder like finish. I'm going to prep my face just with my everyday primer, so the Mario Badescu spray, and then I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime Blur in Smooth Primer today. I also forgot to tell you guys that this does come with 1.35 fluid ounces, so I'm going to give it a good shake. Oh my god, my wrist just cracked. So I'm going to give it a good shake just to make sure that um, it's all even throughout the whole tube. Okay, so it's a very thick. It's not really running at all, as you can see. So that kind of looks like a... It looks like it has a more of a, like, a yellow tint to it, but we're just going to test it out. It smells exactly like paint, so if you don't like smelling foundations like that, then I don't recommend this one. So I'm just going to use my sponge to blend this out. So let's see how well this coverage is. So this is half of my face blended out. It does have a really good coverage as you can see. It feels really lightweight surprisingly because it did have a thicker formula. Um, the scent has kind of just diminished which that's awesome because it was pretty strong right as I was applying it. But yeah, I'm actually really liking this so far. Um, it looks really good. It's not really emphasizing my texture or my pores too much. So let me do the other half. This is what the foundation looks like all over my skin. It feels really lightweight. It's very um, full coverage, but I feel like if you used a little bit of this, you could get more of like a light medium coverage if you wanted to. I don't know, I really like the finish of this. It's not really too matte and it's not too like luminous. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's nothing like crazy. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. This concealer always works very well with all foundations, so that's why I chose this one. And then I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. Alright, and then I am going to bake my face with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is my favorite setting powder ever. I think it's literally the best I've ever tried. Ever. It doesn't alter your foundation shade, which is one thing that I really look for in translucent powders. Because some of them are too yellow toned, some of them are completely white, so it gives you like that under eye cast when you take pictures. And this one has more of just like a neutral tone to it, so... It doesn't change any colors, which I love, especially underneath my eyes. Okay, so while I let my face bake for a little bit, I'm just going to go finish the rest of my face off camera, just because that doesn't really have anything to do with this foundation. So I will check back in with you guys when everything is complete, my hair is done, my face is done, I have a cute outfit on, because right now... I just felt like wearing my robe. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll check back in with you guys then, and then we will do a wear test, and I will see you guys later. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Actually, a second. Okay, so I am back. My makeup is complete. Um, I literally just left my hair in a bun because I'm way too lazy to do my hair today. You guys ever have those days where you're like, no, I'm not even going to touch this. I'm not even going to deal. So I just did a quick little easy um, makeup look. Just something really simple, something really natural. <gasps> I do not have a lip on. That is not acceptable. 
Okay, so after that huge mess, I did not like the way my lips looked. So I just applied um, the Kylie Cosmetics um, matte lipstick in Exposed, and then I just applied her gloss on top. I haven't used Kylie Cosmetics in probably like six or seven months. Right now it's 312, so it's a little bit later in the day, but it's not too late where I can't do a wear test. So my opinion on the foundation right now is it looks literally flawless. For a $6 foundation, this probably looks like a $50 foundation, which is really surprising to me because I don't know. Like, my pores, I feel like I have no pores. My face looks completely smooth. I don't know if it's just my skin today, but usually my foundation doesn't look this good on top of my skin so I am really impressed right now but fingers crossed that it stays looking like this because the six dollar foundation will be my new best friend so right now of course it is around three o'clock so this is our first initial check-in um so yeah long story short loving the foundation so I will see you guys in a couple hours Okay, so it is officially 8.40, so it's been, what, what time did I check in? 3.15, so about, what, five and a half hours? Did I do that math right? 4.15, 5.15, 6.15, 7.15, 8.15. Holy moly, I did! <laughs> but anyway, so it's been five and a half hours that I've had this makeup on. But anyway, so it's been five and a half hours that I've had this makeup on. I honestly haven't even looked at myself. Um, I pretty much just edited this video, did like the thumbnail for it, and then cooked dinner, and then relaxed, and now it's like 8.30 and I'm ready for bed because I'm exhausted. So right now, honestly, the foundation held up really nicely. I think my face looks really good still. Um, the only thing are my smile lines are coming through a little bit, which is literally normal for me. That happens with every single foundation, so it's like no surprise to me. And um, it's not looking really cakey at all. My oils aren't poking through, um, but my oils have been controlled a little more, so I don't get as oily as I used to. Um, bronzer is still there. Highlight is still popping. And everything else looks pretty good. The only thing is I just took off my lip because I was eating dinner and it was just annoying, you know. I bet you guys get that. I'm pretty impressed for $6. Um, we actually might have to test this up against the Wet n Wild because they're both the same price to see actually which one is better. But my skin still looks very airbrushed, very flawless, um, no texture really at all. I'm honestly very impressed. I was not expecting anything like this from this foundation. I thought it wasn't going to be very good. Let me know what you guys think down below. I was not expecting this, were you? Because this came to a shock to me. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you are new to join my S squad. I'm definitely on an uploading schedule Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday as much as I can. Sometimes school gets in the way, but usually I let you guys know if I don't upload on those days. Um, usually on my Snapchat. So if you don't have me on there, definitely add me. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.